Pardon the interruption, but we are back again. We are not going to disappoint you. It ain't over until the fat lady sings. Right, Gabe? That's right, Roger. I ain't fat and I ain't singing. Well, Gabe, our West Virginia Mountaineers got a New Year's Day bowl the Toyota Gator Bowl against the, a rematch against the Maryland Terrapins, the team that demolished WVU 34 to 7 in the previous meeting this season. Oh, that was an ugly game. That was ugly game. Gabe, we've won seven in a row. Mm -hmm. This is uh, our fourth appearance in the Gator Bowl. Fourth. Uh, this is also Coach Rodriguez's fourth fourth time against Maryland, and we are winless we in are the Gator 0 Bowl. Three and 0 and three. We and might make it 0 and four. What are you talking about, Gabe? We're not going to make Roger, it Roger, come on. When a team has our number, that's just the way it happens. Gabe, hey, we've won that's seven in a row. I don't Count care. Em. Count them. Maryland's beat us three times in a row. Count them. Count them. Well, well, Gabe, you know what? Let's just put all that aside. The hype is over. What you all have been waiting for. This is a PTI exclusive. Here it is. Let's send it over to Coach Rod. Uh, we're here with West Virginia University football coach Rich Rodriguez. Coach Rod, you've been here three years now. What are your thoughts on the progress that you've made with the program? Well, we're pretty pleased. You know, we've gotten, uh, you know, last two seasons have been very productive. We've gotten two bowl games, uh, having a chance to, to win the Big East Championship was special this year, especially with a lot of young players. You know, we're, you never know how, how far your young guys are going to take you during the course of a season. This year they took us a long way, and the future looks very bright. You were named Big East Coach of the Year. You know, how does that feel personally for you? It's nice. It's more of a uh, staff award, a team award. Anytime that you have success uh, individually, you know, it's because of the people around you. And I, I have one of the best coaching staffs in America. A lot of, a lot of good football players, and, and uh, we really share it with all those guys. I think the obvious question is, you know, how did you turn around from that one and four start? Well, <laughs> it was really a lot of hard work. You know, we our players never quit believing what we were doing. Uh, they kept working hard and. The guys that were directly involved in the program never lost confidence in what we're doing. We knew we were close. You know, we had you know one play away from beating Miami. You know, we should have beat Cincinnati. You know, Wisconsin game was close. So we knew we were close. We just had to get a few wins to get our confidence. Um, you know, you're from North Marion. You're an alumni. Uh, go Huskies. Yeah, go Huskies. Uh, <laughs> when uh, when you played with North Marion, did you ever pick up any you know coaching styles from Coach Michael that you used today or? Yeah, I sure do. You know, I, I, have, I was very fortunate to have uh, a lot of success in high school in, in athletics. And it was because of the coaches I had. You know, Coach Michael had a, you know, did a great job. I thought he was one of the best high school coaches in the state. Coach Joe Weir, who coached me in uh, individual position, uh, gave us a lot of great ideas, did a lot of good coaching points. And, and I was, you know, I've been blessed throughout my entire career to be surrounded by outstanding coaches. And it started at the high school level with Roy Michael, Joe Weir, and the rest of the guys. Did you have a favorite teacher in North Mary? Well, obviously Joe Weir has to be right up there with the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, all of the teachers were, were special. I hate to single any of them out because I don't think I had one teacher that I did not enjoy and that did not learn from at North Marion High School. And I think it's, I, I'm partial, I'm biased, but I think it's one of the best schools in the state of Washington. Maryland gave you guys a really hard game that first yeah, time. Yeah, they're guys, turkeys now, they're good. <laughs> You guys only got 36 yards passing you. What do you have to do to improve on that? Well, one, we've we've changed our lineup a little bit since we played them the last time. But one, we've got to, we've still got to be able to run the football to beat them. Uh, but we didn't have the ball much in that game. Their their offense kind of controlled the game, and we got to do a better job this year getting their offense off the field and making a few big plays. Uh, Chris Henry, you know, he's been involved a lot lately in the passing game. Why wasn't he involved earlier in the season? Was he just not ready or? Yeah, he's a young guy. He's a rookie. It's the first time he's ever played, and you know, he was still learning. And he's still learning right now. He hasn't even scratched the surface how good he can be. But as the season went along, he got more comfortable with the plays and what his assignments were, and then we did a better job getting the ball to him. Um, uh, it's a month off until the Gator Bowl. Um, last year, it, it seemed like it may have hurt our uh, our uh, straightness, and, uh, but this year kind of nicked up. Do you think it's going to help us this year? It probably, you know, the second time around, our guys, uh, even though with a lot of young guys, I think they'll be able to handle their focus better. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's tough when you get ready to go bowl and you go down there like last year. We weren't able to practice because of the weather. This year, the situation is a little bit better. 
Uh, you know, we'll get, get, we'll get eight practices here in Morgantown and then get five more down in uh, Jacksonville, and we should be ready. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you guys. Good luck with everything. Go Huskies. Well, Gabe, I, I would like to send out a thanks to uh, Mr. Coach Weir. You know, if it wasn't for him, that would not have been possible. Yeah, that thank a, you. That was a great experience for us. Uh, yes. I just want to thank you, Coach Weir, for that, you know, good opportunity that you handed us. And thanks for Coach Rodriguez for taking the time out with us. Gabe, put everything aside. Final prediction, Gator Bowl. Roger, it's going to be a rough game. They've got our number. But this is a neutral site, and we're going to bring it. I'm saying West Virginia, 44 Maryland 21. That's an awful lopsided win, Gabe. I'm going to say Mounties 35, Terps 31 in a fourth quarter thriller. Fourth quarter? Fourth quarter. Gabe, you ready for the big finish? Yes, let's do it. Wait just one second here. Come on now. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm back. I'd like to thank, thank you guys for my job back. Uh, I'd like to let you know that uh, now I can buy Christmas presents for my... Uh, family and they greatly appreciate you guys thanks Roger Huffman and Gabe Jones for allowing me to get back on the salary here thank you even though it's not a good salary but it makes a living thanks just one correction though you failed to mention that Matt Offutt was honorable mention as all-state QB and uh let's go Mountaineers and beat the Terps baby all right let's get, get, out, of get out of here get out of here all right, all right, Gabe, Gabe, let's, let's, let's go one. big finish you ready let's go, let's go. all right Gabe, but, I'd like to wish a happy birthday to the man, the myth, the legend, a man that does a lot behind the scenes here at PTI, Mr. Ryan Runda. Runda is famous for a 416-yard school record drive at a golf match this year. Just happy 18th birthday, Runda. That's, that's a big Woo. drive yeah. coming through in slot machine. Happy birthday, man. And we'd also like to wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And once again, thank you, Mr. Joe Weir, for all your help and support here at PTI. That's all we have for this initial part of the interruption. We're trying to do better next time. Merry See Christmas. You. See you next year.